Good evening, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, welcome to all of you. It is a pleasure to see you again. Today we are going to finish with one. So uh, today we are going to make a general review of all, all the topics that we already have started. Very well, yes. Just waiting for the rest of the class. Okay, let me see. We got 13. Okay, I'm still waiting for the rest. Welcome to Jose Ernesto Leman. Glad to see you again. Gabby is there. Candy is there. Edwin too. Cecilia, Maribel, Janet, Roxana, Hector, Mercedes, Sergio, Sara, Carlos, Amilcar. Welcome to all of you.
Hello, hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yes, no. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Hablando. Tengo que ir contestando cuando me pregunten. Ahí me preguntó, me pasaron lista y no pude contestar. Tenía el micrófono apagado. No, pues es que ahí hay que irlo encendiendo y apagándolo. Pues, porque yo no puedo Compañero meter... José Ernesto, su audio va activo. Pero, pero, ponete los dos. Tengo audio no. Pues, ponete los dos para que se Quiero ver. Quiero ver. Bueno. Y ahí no sabemos si ellos están oyendo todos. No, están oyendo. Fíjate que a veces. A veces sí. Cuando está conectado la grifa, no, no. Compañero palabra. José Ernesto, su audio, Martín. We already control it. That usually happens, but we need to be careful about that. Don't forget to turn off your microphone at the moment that you are now participating in the class. So I'm ready to start today. Uh, let me see, 15. Welcome, Edwin, uh, to, and all of you. It is a pleasure to see you again. As I told before, today we are going to finish uh, unit one. That means that uh, tomorrow morning, I'm going to check up all the activities that you need to do in the platform. And I hope that you are already finished. Hola, el día de hoy eh, finalizamos la semana uno. Para el día de mañana, a las ocho de la mañana, deben de estar terminadas las actividades relacionadas a la semana uno. Porque voy a actualizar el cuadro de notas de la semana 1. Espero que todos vayamos al día. Hasta ahora nadie me ha reportado tener problemas para ingresar a la plataforma. Dentro de un momento voy a hacer una revisión para ver cómo están en su avance y si hay algún problema poderles eh, orientar de la mejor manera para que puedan eh, realizar sus actividades pertinentes. Ahí te sentí. Ok. Let me check out the attendance first. Oh, no. Let me see. We have uh, 12 minutes after 8. Okay, let me show you something first. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Hello. Hola, hola, hola. Hola. Hola, hola.
How many people do I have now? Okay, let us start now. Uh, I'm going to show you before to check out the attendance list. I'm going to show you something here in a way that we are going to start with this. Okay, this is section number five. And our topic for today is general review. That means that we are going to make a, a general review about all the topics that we already have studied in order that all of you can clarify all your doubts related with this topic. So I invite you to pay attention. And if you have any question related with the topics, that we already started, just write your hand and ask question about. Okay. Yesterday, we were talking about values. We talk about core values. Um, well, I'm going to start with this. Talking about business values. Uh, and I would like to hear one of you to read that line number one and maybe two, and then we are going to talk about this. Who wants to read it? Can you hear me or not? Hello, hello. Can you hear me? No? Yes. Oh, okay, I don't know what is happening. Uh I'm asking someone to read this line and anybody wants to do it. Or maybe you don't understand my interaction. Well, I'm going to stop sharing. Okay, welcome. Uh, what I want is just to remember a little bit about what we studied yesterday. Lo que quiero es que hagamos un recordatorio sobre lo que estuvimos hablando el día de ayer, sobre el tema de ayer. And then we are going to connect with the, the topic for today, because we, to, today we are going to make a, a general review. So uh, I would like to talk about four values, the ones that we talked yesterday. And I invite you to read some information that I have in order to continue talking about the topic that we studied yesterday. Later on, we are going to make a review about the few other topics. So, in order to do that, I would like that someone read this concept that I have here. Who wants to do it? Only one. Who wants to read it? Uh, me, teacher. Uh, business values are the concept that guide your business. Okay, perfect. Because we are talking about business values, right? Business values are the concept that guide your business. Business values can help you make decision foster a culture of inward and collaboration and create a positive working environment. Okay, I need to be sure that you understand what I'm reading. So I need that somebody tell me.
Uh, what is the meaning of foster? Foster es eh, como apadrinar, es eh, como auspiciar, impulsar, promover. Son algunos eh, sinónimos de foster. En este contexto, ¿cuál sería el más adecuado? Business values can help you make decisions. Foster a culture of inward. Hasta ahí. ¿Qué, qué eh, ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál de los significados que le di a, aplicar ahí, ahí? Quizás promover una cultura de trabajo. Ah, ok. Que no. Trabajo en equipo. Promover el, el trabajo en equipo, correcto. En collaboration and create a positive working environment. Ok, aprovechemos por favor de preguntar lo que no se comprenda para poder ayudarles. As I told you yesterday, the main objective is that you learn new term, new vocabulary, and the right pronunciation and how to use it in a conversation. So, I invite you to ask when you learn something. Hello? ¿Qué significa environment? Environment es el medio ambiente. Pero en este caso dice create a positive working environment. Crear un ambiente positivo de trabajo. ¿Ya? Sí, sí, sí. Thank you. Ok. Es un ambiente, pero también se usa en la parte natural, en el medio ambiente. Talking about nature. Y se pronuncia environment, environment. Bueno, tengo 820. I'm going to check up the attendance before to continue. Antes de continuar, voy a revisar la asistencia. So, as soon as you hear your name, just say hello, please. So, I'm here, whatever. America Elizabeth Cruz Enriquez. Present teacher. Ok, ahí está, ahí está América. Está intentando... Okay, hold on a second, please. I need to send a message. Okay, hold on a second. I, I got a problem in the attendance list. I don't know why. I don't know why. 
Okay, I'm going to wait a little bit. We are going to continue and later on we are going to pick up the attendance because it's really difficult for me to write them down. Now, I don't know why it's happening there. Okay, okay. okay uh, let us continue. Then I'm going to wait for an answer. Okay, let, let me continue. Okay, we were talking about business values are the concept that guide your business. And also business values can help you make decisions. Uh, foster a culture of teamwork and collaboration and create a positive working environment too. I don't know, if maybe one of you have any question related with this concept or not. If not, I can continue. Okay, My goodness, what is it going here? Okay, hold on a second. Uh, I need to stop here again. Okay, I'm going to ask your names. Okay, America Elizabeth. Say hello, please. Present teacher. Okay, Carlos Amilcar. Okay, I'm here, teacher. Okay, Cecilia Maribel. Present teacher. Okay, Elvin Alexis. Present teacher. Edwin Alfredo. Present teacher. Esmeralda del Rosario. Present teacher. Gabriela Yamilet. Present teacher. Giselle Guadalupe. I am here, teacher. Okay. Hector Enrique. Present teacher. Ingrid Geraldina. Hello. Hello, Jonathan. Don Jonathan. Okay. Don Jose Ernesto Alemán. Don Ernesto Alemán, say hello, please. Por ahí lo vi, por ahí lo vi. No sé qué le pasó, pero sí está conectado. Eh, Catherine Paola. No here. Candy Natalie. Present teacher. Mauricio Antonio. Mauricio Antonio. Mercedes Alejandra. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Roxana Álvarez. Present teacher. Okay, Roxana Elizabeth. Present teacher. Sara Alejandra. Thank you, teacher. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Adolfo. Present teacher. Uh, Janet. Present teacher. Yesenia Lisset. Aguilar.
Okay, let us continue. Teacher. Hello. Este, perdone que cuando inició a pasar la asistencia me quedé sin internet por un momento y ahorita me voy pudiendo conectar. Ok, Paola. Thank you, teacher. Ok, welcome. Let me see where you are. Catherine, Paola, over the books. Okay, I need that you give me a hand with the following. Uh, I'm going to share with you a screenshot. And could somebody send it to the WhatsApp group, please? I need to. Okay, yes, yeah, share it to WhatsApp group, please. Alguien que me la comparta el grupo de WhatsApp, por favor. Esa imagen. Ok, let us continue then. Um, we are going to use the, the material. Uh, we are going to start a little bit talking about business values. And let us see what we are going to do next. Okay, thank you. Okay, we are going to start with this. <clears throat> so I need that uh, you look in your material. If you don't have it, you can take a look right here. Activity number one, say vocabulary practice, read the clues to complete the crossword puzzle with values. Don't forget that downs mean in this way and across mean this way. So uh, you are going to have some, some, uh, some minutes in order to resolve this and later on we are going to compare with somebody else in order to be sure that you got the right answer. How you are going to do it, for example, down, being uh, faithful to your friends, families, principal, etc. Uh, which value do you consider is that one? Let me see how many letters. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven letters. Okay, tell me. Family. Excuse me. Sorry, teacher. Family. Or friends. Okay, I guess it's gonna be better if every one of you we solve and then we compare. In order to. Oh, yeah. Hello? It's loyalty. Loyalty? Number one. Loyalty. Ah, could be. Could be, could be, could be. Okay, I guess it's going to be better if everybody uh, resolve it and later on we can uh, just share what you have. Okay, let me see if I can show you everything. In order that you can take a screenshot. Okay, let me see. Oh, 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 oh. Small one. Okay, hold on a second. I'm going to stop chilling. I need to. I need to do some. Teacher, yo veo muy pequeña la imagen. Hola. Es que veo demasiado pequeña la imagen, entonces me cuesta como lograr entender. 
Sí, ahorita permítame. Teacher, y tengo una consulta. ¿Cree que nos podría compartir el formato? Así como nos compartió la, la vez pasada las unidades. Mm. De compartirnos sí. las, unidad, las unidades del módulo 3 al grupo de WhatsApp. Las unidades o las presentaciones. Creo que eran la, las, presentaciones, las presentaciones y las unidades eran como un tipo de librito, donde estaban también las conversations, las practices. Ah. Is, is, teacher. Hola. Is in, in material in page uh, 17. Yes, you got it there. The problem is that yes. maybe some of you don't have algunos. Yes, you are getting the shirt. Do the game in the share and the grow in WhatsApp, please. I share, I share, teacher. Okay, okay. Okay, thank you. I already, I, I already paused the, the image of this activity. He compartido la imagen de, de, de esta actividad. Pero si sí, el material ya está en el módulo. Eh, let me see what's happening here. Let me check out something here. Okay. Okay, you got the material there. Ahí está el material. Yes, I, I see. Yeah, you can uh, just look for the number of the page. Yes, thank I, you. If somebody doesn't have it, I already share something here. Por si acaso alguien no lo tiene, compartido allí eh, justamente lo que estamos hablando. Y lo hice pequeñito para poder hacer el, el, el corte de la imagen. Teacher, in, in order or anyone? You need to resolve in order. In order, okay. And later on, we are going to discuss in order to be sure that you did a good job. So if everybody uh, got the material, that means that I'm going to stop sharing. The number two say the belief that something or someone should not be harmed. Read it rudely and you need to report value. Number three, doing some something well and effectively without wasting time, money, or energy. Number five, the introduction of new ideas, method, or inventions. Number seven, being honest, being honest and fair and behaving according to the moral principle that you believe in. Across number four, being good at leading a group, organization, country, etc. Number six, the quality of being dependable. Number eight, the ability to understand how someone feels because you can imagine what it is like to be there. And number 10, arriving or being done at the exactly time that has been arranged. And number 10, the quality has been fair and proud. Okay, if you have any problem with uh, sonic question, just let me know and I can give you a hand. Number one. Number one. You already got it? Será honesty. You need to be sure that yeah. that the word set in the number of the letters that we have here. Asegúrense que la palabra que ustedes van a a poner en el número que está pidiendo que tenga el número de letras conforme al número de cuadro. ¿Y va a ser el cabal, Jones, en el número 1? Bueno. 
Ok. Uh, llenemos primero y luego comparamos, por favor. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing. If you are working in your computer, uh, you can share your screen later on as soon as you finish.
Finish teacher. Finish teacher. Okay, let me see how many of you have already finished. I finished this one. Okay, and somebody else.
Okay, let me know in order to compare if all of you already finished. Any question about something here? No? Not Teacher. Sure. Hello? Tell me. Tell me, please. Number one, did you? Okay, number one, start with the letter L and finish. Yes with letter Y. The answer, teacher. The answer is, tell me. Lo loyalty. Loyal? Loyalty. Loyalty, loyalty. 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 Okay, next. Number? Two. Number two, teacher, Number two. respect. Number two is? Number two? Respect. Respect. Respect, teacher. Respect, respect. Respect. Okay, number three. Efficiency. Efficiency. Ah, efficiency. Efficiency. Okay. Number five. This Leadership. Excuse me. Leadership. No. Leadership. Number innovation. five. Innovation. Innovation teacher. Innovation. Number five is innovation. Number no, number five. number four is leadership. Okay, okay, okay. But hold on a second. We need to finish number seven. Ah, okay. Number seven. We got Integrity. seven here. Integrity. Integrity. Okay, integrity. Okay, what about cross number four? Right here, number four. Leadership. Leadership. Okay, leadership. Leadership. Leader, leadership. Okay, what about number six? Responsibility. 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 Okay, number eight, the ability to understand how someone feels. Integrity. Right. Empathy. Empathy. Empathy, teacher. Empathy. Empathy. Listen. Empathy. 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 Okay, next. Number nine, arriving or being done at exactly time that has been arranged. Punctuality. Punctuality. And the last one, 20. Uh, no, number 10, I'm sorry. The, the quality of being fair and thoughtful is. Honesty. Honesty. Okay. Honesty. Uh, Honesty. Like, okay. like like the song of Billy Joel. Okay, okay. I don't know if someone wants to share uh, your screen with the answers. Alguien quiere compartir su pantalla con la respuesta para que alguien haga su captura. Anybody? Yes, teacher. Yes, you can do it. Thank you.
Ok, ahí está. Pueden hacer una captura con las respuestas. Okay, thank you, it's done. Okay, thank you. Okay. Let us see what else we are going to do. Veamos que más tenemos que hacer. Okay, we are going to continue with exercise number two. Vamos a continuar con el ejercicio two. Okay, infinitives. Correct for mistake related to infinitives. The instruction should correct for mistake related to infinitives. You got six minutes to resolve this activity. You can look for it on, on page number 18. You are going to find out on page 18. You can find it in the material in the page number 18. Remember, what we are doing is a, a general review.
Okay, uh, if you finish, just let know please. What you are going to do is just to correct four mistakes related to infinitives. And number one, say the company's mission is to distribute to distributing top quality office supplies. Someone would like to tell me uh, where is the mistake there or if it is right. Hello. Is incorrect number one. Okay, well, where is the mistake? Uh, distributing. Distributing. Uh, distributing. Okay, what well, we can do is just to underline or put in a square, right? Yeah, I'm going to do it here. Okay, this is the mistake. And you are going to write down in the correct way. Remember that we are talking about infinitives. Estamos hablando de infinitivos. Uh, this gibberish is... Uh, the pronunciation is difficult. Distribute, distribute. Distribute. To distribute top quality office supplies. Yes. Okay, number two, someone else. Our vision it to become the leader in the telecommunication sector. Where is the mistake? Teacher, una duda. Eh, en la número uno, en el error que han señalado, esa palabra quiere decir que no va allí. Yes. Okay. That means that you need to switch for another one. Uh, maybe number two, it's is well. It is correct. I think that there is not mistake. Are you sure? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. Check again. Check again. I think that the correct word is it. Ah, okay. And which one is the right one? What is la, la correcta? Yes. Ah, okay. Our vision is to become the leaders in the telecommunication sector. 
Okay, let us go to number three. We exist for to provide integrated logistic services. Show me. Okay, number three. Remember that we are going just to find four uh, different mistakes. Number three for me, it's correct. Oh, okay. What about number four? Our goal is to be recognized as the number one dairy producer. Number four. In number four, uh, the word two is missing. Okay, our word is? To be recognized. To be recognized. Uh, recognized. Be recognized. As a number okay. one daily producer. Teacher, uh, and the number four, uh, recognize is correct. Very. Yes, reconocido. Okay. No es reconocer, sino que dice, el, nuestro objetivo es ser reconocido como el número uno. Okay, thanks. Participio pasado del verbo. Ok, number five. Rex. Rex vision. Ambition to becoming the number one manufacturer, manufacturer of clothes for kids. Ok, down. Uh, uh, the incorrect becoming. Okay, this one. And what else? Can can mas? And miss word is is. Which one?
Does it? Or there is another mistake there, tell me. Uh, uh, is word missing? Which one? A vision is to, or no? No, right here, what we need to do is just to use the, the verb become. To become. That you become the number one. But, but what about something else? Hay algo más ahí. Take a look. Tell me. My goodness, I don't know what happened. I got uh, I got a problem here, but uh... hola hola. Yes, teacher. Hola hola. No. Yes, teacher. I heard you. Yes. Hubo una, una desconexión por un, un minuto, creo. Eh, ok. Pero ya se restableció la grabación. Revisen, por favor, si, si dices grabando. Avísenme ahí, por favor. Sí, inició nuevamente. Sí, llevamos el tiempo, sí, 1.14. Inestabilidad en la conexión. Bueno, de repente me quedé hablando solo. ¿no? Ok, uh, we were talking about this. We already finished. Checking number five. Don't forget that this word ambition has a different meaning, you know. Okay, let us continue with exercise number three, agent form after prepositions. That, okay, hold on a second. I'm going to stop sharing and we need to do something else. Vamos a hacer un giro. Sure. No. En la, en la número cinco dijo que había otro error, pero no, no, lo, no lo encontré. No lo vimos. Okay, hold on a second. What I said is just uh, that, that I, what I was trying to tell you is that you need to be careful about some words. Lo que estaba tratando de decirles es que tienen que ser cuidadosos referente a algunas palabras. Pero nadie me preguntó, por ejemplo, a uh, algo referente a ambition. Porque una cosa es vision y la otra es ambition. ¿Sí buscaron el significado de esa palabra? Encontré que era imaginar o visualizar. Ya van dos sinónimos. ¿Qué más? Idear. ¿Sí? ¿Qué más? En otras palabras, ahí lo que está diciendo es que la imaginación de la empresa Rex es convertirse en el número uno. En los fabricantes número uno de ropa para niños. Ese es la, la, el sueño. Eso tiene que ver con esa palabra. Por eso... Eh, si no comprenden alguna palabría es mejor buscarla o preguntar para que no hayan dudas después 
Okay, let us continue. Number three, agent G4 after preposition. Use the word. Ah, oh, but I told you that I'm going to stop. Vamos a detenernos aquí. Y vamos a cambiar de ritmo porque necesitamos cambiar de ritmo. Okay, hold on a second. Un segundo, por favor. Okay, I'm going to share a link with you and you are going to get there. Le voy a compartir un link para que puedan entrar. You got it there. So do it now, please. Just let me know if you can do it or not. Si ¿Sí pudieron. Ok, Gabriela. Yes, teacher. Ok, ok. Go yes, teacher. Ok, continue, please. I got two, only two. Tengo dos. I got three. I got six. Okay, what about the rest? Let me see how many people do I have now. Only nine people? What about the rest? Algún problema para entrar? Yes, let me know, please. No creo que solo nueve personas estén activas y el resto solo ha dejado su, con su cámara apagada y no están detrás de su ordenador. Let me count it. I got two, four. Está que me cargue, no me Ok, tengo 18 personas. Deberían de estar 18 conectados ya en la prueba. 
and I got only a spin. A mí me está pidiendo correo electrónico, teacher. Really? Sí. I don't know why. No, es el nombre, tu nombre. Sí, porque no, no pide correo electrónico. Pones tu nombre y le das a hacer. Teacher, yo sí ya salgo conectada. Excuse me? Yo sí ya salgo conectada. A mí no me carga, teacher. Ok, su nombre. Me Ingrid. Name. Ingrid, let me see. Ingrid, Ingrid, Ingrid. No. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, you are here. Ok, I got Ale López, Esmeralda, Ingrid, Edwin, Roxy, Sergio, Candy, Roxana, Gabriela, Héctor, Carlos, Amilcar. Y quien llegó de último, quien fue Paola. Mercedes, is there too? I miss six. Todavía me faltan five. Janet, is there two? Ya me está cargando. Ok. Todavía me faltan. Ok, uh, bueno, no, no, no veo que ingrese alguien más. Let me see how many. I got 14. Tengo 14 conectados. Y tengo, uh, bueno, acá y acá tengo 18. Hay cuatro que no están detrás de su computadora o teléfono. Posiblemente sean los que están de oyentes. Ya aparejo, teacher. Elvin, let me see, let me see. Bueno, vamos a ver. Mercedes, eh, let me see. Elvin Alcón. Yes. Ok, por el tiempo, uh, let us start now. Vamos a iniciar. Here we go. Um.
No escucho nada, teacher. ¿Vale? No escucho, ya inició. Yes. Sí, ya vamos avanzando. Okay, I'm not sure waiting. I finished it. Okay. Just wait a little bit for the rest.
Feminist için. Okay. Finish. Okay. Okay, let me see how many of you finish. Or oh, some of you are... I finished, teacher. I finished, teacher. So what my next? Okay, todavía tengo algunos que están eh, trabajando en la prueba. Finished, teacher. Okay. We are just waiting for one or two. Okay, let me see. Somebody is still working on it. What about Roxanne and Gabriela? Do you finish now? You're still working on it. Okay, todavía faltan tres. We missed three.
Okay, we are going to finish. Uh, also, the time I'm going to um, Okay, and the winner is Sergio Hernandez, the second one, Carlos Amilcar, and the third one, Mercedes Rivas. Ahora sacó el 90%, Pendi 100, Carlos 100, Roxana. Ok, tuvimos una aprobación del 77%. 77%. Ok. What I can do is just to show you the result. I can see here. How many questions do you answer in the right way? I got it here. We got a good grade, 100%, 100, 100, 100, 90, 90, 90, 80, you know. Okay, you did a great job. Ok, así ah, rapidito en español. ¿Alguien tuvo problemas para poder realizar la prueba? No, teacher. Hola, hola. No, teacher. Teacher, yo sí siento este, que me falta con los infinitivos. Ah, ok, tenemos problemas ahí. Sí. Problema con los infinitivos. Okay, hold on second place. Okay, don't forget that when we talk about infinitives, okay, hold on a second, I remember I show you a presentation later with this. Still recuerdo que les mostré una presentación relacionada infinitivo. Okay, hold on a second.
Okay, let me show you some information related with infinitives. I don't know if you can see it very well. No sé si pueden ver muy bien. Just let me know, please. Yes, yes sure, we can see. Okay, infinitives are the two form of the verb. The infinitive form of learn is to learn. You can also use an infinitive as the subject or the object of a sentence. For example, to learn is important, subject of a sentence. Aprender es importante, el sujeto de la oración. Or we want to learn. Y este sería el objeto de la oración. Él quiere aprender. Por eso lleva to learn aquí. Nos está demostrando el infinitivo, aprender. ¿Sí? Infinitives can be made negative by adding not. For example, I decided not to go. Decidí no ir. The most, the most important thing is not to give up. Lo más importante es no darse por vencido. Entonces, con este concepto podemos entender que el infinitivo es aquel en el cual hacemos uso de la partícula to. Y al final, el verbo eh, no está conjugado, sino que es aprender. Diferente es decir, lo aprendo, se lo aprende, ¿no? Eso sería el infinito. Okay, for example, uh, my boss decided to leave early. Mi jefe decidió salir, irse temprano. She expected to receive a salary increase. What is that in Spanish? ¿Qué significa en español? ¿Sí? Ella espera recibir un incremento de salario. ¿Será espera? ¿En qué tiempo está el verbo? Mm. Esperaba, teacher. Tiempo Espera. pasado. Ah, ok, esperaba recibir un, un aumento de salario. Y el infinitivo está en color rojo. They are hoping to arrive on time. El infinitivo ahí está de rojo, miren, to arrive. We should ar arrange to meet at 9 a.m. ¿Sí? Ahí está también el infinitivo. Habla también de la parte del yero, Nacho G. Pero esa no, ahorita no es tema de, de, de nosotros. Veamos a uh, right, right here some exercises. Ok, let us resolve this. Can you stop? 
so many sweets when you go to the market and trying to lose weight. Aquí podemos usar infinitivo o germ. En este caso, ¿cómo sería? Podrías parar de qué? Muchos dulces cuando vas al supermercado, estoy tratando de perder peso. De comprar. Ya para ver en inglés, en inglés. To buy. buy. To buy. Será que en inglés to, to buy. To buy. Is that correct? Buying. Uh, que en inglés está buying. Son many sweets when you go to the market. Okay. What about number two? Would you like coffee with your meal? When we talk about you see, a study there. you see a preposition. To have, to having. No. Would you like having coffee with me? Yes, in this case, it's using, uh, talking about Yaru. Okay, let, let me see what I'll do. Hold on a second, please. Um, no, 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 Okay, we got we got the answer there. As you can see, yes. Can you stop buying? Would you like to have coffee with your meal? Uh, line is good at drawing. Number four, where do you learn to decorate? Hey, they look beautiful. Number five, Bill has offered to show. Estos son los uh, inventivos, los que van con to. To show me how to make sushi. Okay, what else? I don't feel like watching another cookie, cooking show on TV. Choosing another problem. Number seven. Fran plans to go to check to school next year. Number eight, cooks often suggest adding a, a little sugar to tomato sauce. And number nine, swimming is good for health. Aquí hay una combinación de infinitivos y germ. Por eso aparece así. Teacher, ¿y cómo saber qué es infinitivo? Para no confundirse que ya va con el ING. Ok, voy a hacer un stop. And I'm going to show you this one. Ok, hold on a second. I'm going to go to the Okay, aquí está, how to use infinitives. Generalmente, habla aquí, dice, for the consists of two plus the base form. Si tiene la partícula to, va a tener la forma base del verbo. A eso se le llama infinitivos. Y se usan para uh, expresar un propósito, una misión. También sirven para dar direcciones en una visión de algo. Teacher, pero en el caso que no tenga la palabra tú, como en las oraciones que acaba de poner, en ninguna dices tú. Entonces, en ese caso, para saber que es infinito. En ese caso no es infinitivo si no tiene la partícula tú. A eso se refiere. O sea, en ninguna oración de las que nos acaba de poner, tenía el tú. 
No, en, no algunas, unos... en, en algunas sí. Sí, va. Entonces, ahora bien, yo le, yo le digo, ¿cómo saber que sí lleva el tú? Teacher, creo que la pregunta de Roxana es si, cómo identificamos nosotros en cuál usar un infinitivo o un gerún. O un gerún. Un gerún, sí. Ah, ok. Uh, it's quite easy, but all depends on the, the way that you are going to look it. Mira, es simple, es sencillo. Vaya, voy a mostrar una vez más lo que le había mostrado antes. Let me show it here. Porque eso tiende a confundir. Por ejemplo, aquí. Okay, I don't know if you can see it very well. Existen unos verbos que se llaman study bear. Que después de esos verbos generalmente usamos un gerundio como love, hate. Eh, después de eso es notorio que vamos a usar eh, un ing. Pero por ejemplo, uh, let me talk about this one. Would you like to have coffee with your milk? And maybe I'm going to give you another example. Y mejor le voy a dar otro ejemplo que sea más práctico. Let me get a, a whiteboard. Voy a poner una, una, una pizarra blanca. No sé si la miran. Todavía no. No, teacher, todavía no. Ahora sí. ¿No? Está cargando. ¿Y si no? Ahora sí. Ok, por ejemplo, if I say I want Ok, ¿pueden verlo? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ok, ahorita veamos ahí. ¿Cuál será lo correcto? Decir, I want to go to China o I want going to China. To go. Dije yo, expliqué algo. Eh, los infinitivos generalmente no están conjugados con nadie. Entonces, al traducirlo al español diría yo. Eh, yo quiero ir. Termina en ar, er, ir. Esos son infinitivos en español. Yo quiero ir a China. Entonces, ahí sería I want to go to China. ¿Sí? Si alguien, por ejemplo, dijera, I want to work, I want to work in China. ¿En qué termina el verbo al traducirlo? ¿Aló? Sí me están entendiendo, no me están entendiendo. Ejemplo, dice, I, I have, tengo espacio, study.
Ok, ¿qué, qué me falta ahí? El tú, teacher. El tú. Ah, ok, ¿por qué? Al traducirlo, ¿cómo va a decir? ¿Hola? Tengo que estudiar duro. Ah, ¿en qué termina el verbo? Ar. Ar. Ah, entonces esos son infinitivos. Estudiar, saltar, llorar, etcétera, etcétera. Pero ahora viene lo que me preguntaba la compañera y decía, ¿cuándo yo voy a usar eso? Ojo, ojo y oído. I don't study. I don't study her for any test. Ahora que dice ahí. Hola, ¿qué dice? No estudio fuerte ah, por alguna qué, prueba. ¿En qué termina el verbo? Pues no termina en ar. Ok, ¿cómo lo dice al traducirlo? No estudio. Ah, entonces el verbo ya está conjugado. Por lo tanto, ya no puede ser infinitivo ahí. No sé si me voy a entender con esos dos ejemplos. Yes, teacher. Ok, otro ejemplo lo podría ser caminar. Es bueno para la salud. Oiga, oiga cómo camina, eh, termina el verbo caminar. ¿Cómo lo escribiría en inglés? To walk. Ahí hay que tener cuidado porque en ese caso yo, walking. yo podría decir walking is really good for health. ¿Sí? Entonces diferente es que usted diga eh, I had to walk. I had to walk 10 kilometers. I have to walk. Yo tengo que Caminar. Ah, ¿En qué termina el verbo? En ar. Entonces, eso es infinitivo. No sé si me voy a entender con eso. Sí, Entonces, dicho. en el primer ejemplo es walking, lo, lo correcto. Porque como ahí está como nombre. Sí. Ahí no está como verbo. Ok, but let me show you something now. Let us finish the exercise that we have here, right here. Y les muestro el ejercicio que habíamos hecho relacionado a infinitivos. Por ejemplo, right here said that the company's mission is to distribute. La misión de la compañía es el que es la misión de la compañía. Distribuir. ¿En qué termina el verbo? Ir. Ah, entonces significa que ahí está en infinitivo. Por eso lleva la partícula to. A eso es que le llamamos infinitivo. Otra. Our vision is to become. ¿En cómo se traduce ese verbo? Convertirse en, convertirse. 
n sí y en ese caso eh, termina de esa forma entonces si usted va observando por ejemplo we exist for to provide we exist for to provide qué significa to provide Ver. Ah, ¿en qué termina el verbo? Er. Ah, entonces todos esos, a eso es lo que le llamamos infinitives. Ok, I'm sorry, because of the time, por el tiempo, uh, nos quedó todavía el ejercicio 4 donde dice personal versus personal. Which more the uh, which word means belonging to a particular person and which word means people who work for a company. Ahí tenemos dos palabras, personal and personal. We, uh, what is the difference between them? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre ambos? Sí. Tell me. Uh, the personal is, for example, uh, when I told for me, for my teens. Okay, let us see in this way. Veamos la esta forma para entenderla más rápido. Which one is plural and which one is singular? ¿Cuál es la singular y cuál es la plural? Así fácil. And number one says, who is responsible for the at the plant? ¿Quién es el responsable de en la planta? ¿Será personal o personal? Ahora personal. Bien. Ahora vea el número dos. Does the marketing manager have a assistant? Which one? Personal or personal? Okay, at the end, tell me which one is plural and which one is singular. Eso es lo que necesito que sepa. ¿Cuál es el plural y cuál es el singular? El, la oración 4 está más clara. Please do not bring your problem to the office. Which one? Personal. Ah, personal. Sí. Ahora vea la 5. The of the workshop need new uniform. Which one? Personal. Ah, el personal del taller necesita uniformes nuevos. ¿Será eso plural o singular? Eh, personal. ¿Plural eh, o singular? Plural. Ah, ok. Y mire la cuatro, por favor, no traiga sus problemas personales a la oficina. Sí, personal problem. Bueno, creo que ahí quedamos claros con el uso de esas dos palabras. Personal referente a uno y personal referente al grupo de personas. Ok, I don't know if we have any questions so far from here. ¿Alguna pregunta hasta ahí? No. No, teacher. Yes. Just let me. No, teacher. Ok, I'm going to. No, teacher. I'm going to press tab here because of the time. Let me see the time that we have now. My goodness. Okay, let me check out the attendance again. Vamos a revisar la asistencia una vez más. Before we go to our bed to clean. Okay, uh, America Elizabeth.
Hello, America. Carlos Amilcar. Present teacher. Okay, Cecilia Maribel. Edwin Alexis. No me agarra el micrófono por ahí. Present teacher. Edwin Alfredo. Present teacher. Esmeralda. Gabriela Jamilet. Present teacher. Okay, Isela Guadalupe. Present teacher. Good night. Okay, Hector Enrique. Present. Ingrid Geraldina. Jonathan. Present. Okay, Jonathan Sambe. Jose Ernesto. Catherine Paola. Candy Natalie. Present teacher. Mauricio Antonio. Mercedes Alejandra. Present teacher. Roxana. Present teacher. Sara. Present. Sergio. Present teacher. Janet. Present teacher. Y Yesenia Lisa. Teacher falté yo. Who is it? Your name? Roxana. Roxana, Roxana, Roxana Álvarez o Roxana Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Okay, I'm sorry. Ok, thank you very much. Ok, no se les olvide, por favor, que debemos de terminar las actividades de la semana 1 para poder hacer su promedio y poner pasar su nota ya correspondiente a la semana 1. Por favor, espero que todos tengan la oportunidad de poder entrar a la plataforma. En that way, I'm going to check up all your activities. So, thank you very much and I hope to see you tomorrow. Good night and take care. Bye bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Good night, good night. teacher. Good night, teacher. Okay, good night. Good night.